तो गाइस हेलो दे वेलकम बैक दिस इज पार्ट 4 एपिसोड 4 थिकर देन वाटर लेट्स गो स्टे फ्रॉस्टी जेंट्स व्हाट्स आई मीन लाइक स्टे कूल बडी एस पी SP office something Looks like Bob's on duty. I'll distract him away from the door and meet you inside. Be careful in there. There might be more of them. Remember what I said about staying cool. I've done this before, Abby. No. You haven't gave. Not really. Some decisions you make them in a split second and then have to carry them the rest of your life. You understand? Yeah. I think I do. How can we trust Ava that she won't turn us in? Can we really trust her? Your father trusts her. And we trust him, right? Yeah. And we should be okay. I hope. How do you know when you can trust someone? I feel like I've never really known anyone. other than you and Kate, Mariana, and what I remembered of my dad through their actions. They can try to confuse you with their words, but someone worth your trust does good things. Makes sense. I think we're up. She sure is a big help. I think there's going to be some jump scares. We cannot just walk in from the front door in their armory. That's stupid. We should have gone through the windows. said it be this way It's down here The guns are through that door Locked No time to look for a key either to do this the hard way that's going to that makes a lot of noise shit Put these in your bag never done this before just you and me we make a pretty good team right the sure. uncle nephew one two punch yeah we do god every everyone remembers everything <gasps> sorry to scare you when we get back to elenor's we need to talk to those people about doing the right thing by this place i'll meet you at the entrance
Get away from me! Oh shit! Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Not dead yet. I'm so sorry. Jeez, I can't leave you guys alone for two minutes, can I? He's still alive? Yeah. Just passed out. Starting to think siding with you might have not been the best idea. Toss Sleeping Beauty in the closet so nobody sees him. Let me see that wound. It's really bleeding. You're gonna need that taken care of. Shit. No, it's okay. Lingard and David are close friends. We can count on him to help you. Medical facility is right nearby. It'll be quiet this time of night, too. Okay, but let's be quick. Get the knife. What the hell? Prayers for the dead. That's what I got for achievement. Can they really hit targets over a mile away? Not these, but some models. Javi, it's probably best if Lingard doesn't see these guns. He and David might be tight, but he's still part of Richmond's leadership council. I'll keep watch with Ava. Okay. Do any of them have laser sights? You think this is... Call of Duty? Clem? <gasps> Shit, Javi, what happened to you? Ran into a little trouble. Wow, that looks like it must have hurt. I just need to get it cleaned up. You surprised me. Thought you were someone else. Who were you expecting? I know this wouldn't exactly look innocent to Joan or David. Is it innocent? Yes, I guess, I think so. I'm mostly here to talk with Lingard about where AJ is now. Anyway, I can't leave Richmond with that herd out there. Something tells me Lingard doesn't care what you're doing. He's been out of it since I got here. He's alive. Poor dumb bastard. That's gonna need more than just cleaning, Javi. I can stitch that for you. Sure. I can't promise it'll look great once it heals. You've done this before? Yeah, I have. On myself, actually. In much worse conditions. You'll be fine. Huh. Let me see if I can find a needle and thread for that. Clem. You okay? I'm fine. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. Oh, nothing. It's just magic. It means you're growing up. Blossoming into your, you know, like, womanhood. <laughs> your body is, is developing, <laughs> and, and things change, but it'll be okay. Oh, man. Okay. I can take you back to Kate. She can help you with, uh... Javi, worry about yourself right now. Well, you, need you to both of... You thread to stitch you up first. Both of you are bleeding, uh, right. so... Oh, yeah, we are supposed to find... Jackpot. Needle and thread. All sterilized and ready to go. What's here? Here we go. What? What was that? Capsule bottles. 
just pills. Well, what the fuck do you expect? Cody? Hmm. Not much left. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. It doesn't matter. Well, these could come in handy. Penicillin. Not what I'm looking for. Close that. This is just what you're looking for. <laughs> they help you handle it. Kate will take care of you. I think I remember how to do this. <sighs> okay, hold still. This guy got six packs. Try not to breathe. Try not to breathe? Look, I know I'm probably not the best person to talk to about that stuff before. You weren't that bad. Thanks for, you know, being here. Basically, all this means is you could become a mom, if you want it. Funny. I already felt like a mom. Kenny used to say, I was a natural born mother. Oh, the flashbacks. By the way, it's been 12 minutes. I'll end this part here. See you in the next one. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.